First of all, I want to touch on a subject um, with Kate Austin from the London Racing Club in relation to a young gentleman called uh, Rob Cope. Uh, good evening, Kate. Hello, Peter. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, and thank you very much for, for joining us. Um, obviously, we're looking forward to Asker, but also looking, I know you're looking forward to Cheltenham on, on Saturday, but I think the most important thing um, we can discuss is uh, something that is happening at Cheltenham in relation to this young man. Tell us a bit um, about Rob Cope and, and, and his story, Kate. Well, basically, um, this all came about because Ian Cam, who is Rob's father, um, has been the Cheltenham Racecourse vet for many, many years. And last year, his son, Rob, was um, basically uh, making his final preparations before starting his university course. And the week before he was due to leave, he was involved in a terrible car accident and this promising young rugby player and rower ended up um, a tetraplegic, paralysed from the neck down and needing 24-hour care and a ventilator in order to breathe. And he's obviously building a new life for himself. How, how is he managing, before we talk about ways uh, that have uh, been generated within the racing community, how is he, how's he coping? Well, um, he's home now um, and, in fact... <coughs> went to university a couple of weeks ago together with his carers, a specially adapted wheelchair, and of course a tube fixed into his neck in order to help him breathe, because without the ventilator he, he cannot breathe. Um, and he's hoping to take a degree. And in terms of... Um what is being done by the racing community? I mean, I've, I looked through it actually tonight. Tonight, I was astounded uh, what the trainers were doing and, and what was being done by various race courses. Explain how people can get involved and how people can bid for certain things. Okay. Well, first of all, um, if I give you this website address, www.campaignforrob.co.uk, um, and if you go on this site, you will see. Um, 60 lots that people have donated for auction and um, basically you can bid online up until 6 o'clock on this Friday night, the 17th. And then on the 18th, for those of you that are coming to Cheltenham, we are running um, a marquee and in that marquee we'll have bid forms and you can talk to us and leave bids on all the different lots. And boy, have we got some incredible lots. I know, I've seen them. I mean, you've got items from John Joe O'Neill, Alan King, Paul Nichols, Nicky Henderson, Donna McCain. You've got four tickets for Ladies' Day at Cheltenham. I mean, there's a one, some wonderful um, items being put up there, isn't there? It's just incredible. Needless to say, the, jumps, the jumping community have literally jumped in and supported us. Um, Cheltenham themselves have given us the marquee and the electricity and so on and so forth. Um, we've got Mark Johnson up in Yorkshire who's donated. We've got um, golf breaks. We've got a week on the Algarve. We've got antique oil paintings and snaffles prints, um, fly fishing. Absolutely incredible. A riding lesson with Captain Mark Phillips. Behind Zara Phillips clothing. Um, Mike Tyndall has donated a signed Gloucester rugby shirt. Um, tickets for the Wales versus England International. Um, it's just an incredible collection of auction lots. People have been unbelievably supportive and generous because, of course, most of them who've owned horses have had them treated by Ian, his father. So there's a real sense of um, various sporting communities coming together to help support Rob cope with tetraplegia. Absolutely fantastic, Kate. And before you go, could you please give us that email, uh, the website address again? I certainly can. It's www.campaignforrob.co.uk. Okay. Kate, thank you very much indeed. I know while everyone will be focused on Ascot, you'll be at Cheltenham. Have a lovely weekend and no doubt we'll speak soon. God bless you. Take care. Take Bye, care, folks. Kate.